teacher bell and welcome to another tips review and tutorial if you are new to my channel please show some love and do subscribe so that you'll be updated with my videos about tech tutorials app reviews teaching tips and reading readiness so for today's video we are going to look at some of the famous or popular icebreakers among children and if you did like this video please don't forget to hit that like button thank you in advance and now when do you integrate icebreakers in your classrooms as for me i'm handling third grade we usually put one icebreaker in the morning and another icebreaker in the afternoon or right after lunch i do an icebreaker with my students so that the monotony inside the classroom will be broken and you can bring back your students engagement and interest so on my top list is of course my students favorite the gamified platforms or web-based game show so um we've been using kahoot quizzes quizlet what else jeopardy and game kit for the past few months so for those web-based games the mechanics is just simple whoever gets the highest point wins the game the teacher hosts the game asks questions and the students answer it on their devices blue kit is my favorite in terms of gamified platform why because uh, it now becomes a game of chance or a game of luck since in blue kit your opponent can steal your points so no matter how fast you are or regardless if you are knowledgeable on the content if one of your opponent steals your points then it's just a game of luck and that's where the exciting part comes in blue cat also has a wide range of games that you can choose from to keep it always fresh for students and teachers alike so there's the gold quest there's the tower kingdom and so many choices of games it's a bit chaotic though be careful with this teacher so when you play blue cat especially when students get mad about stolen points but here's the fun part this is the time where you can integrate the fun with sportsmanship so it's just on how you explain the mechanics to your students and just reiterate that this is just for fun number two is the most famous go noodle so in go noodle students can randomly pick exercise or workout or dance routines so every single day i assign leaders for each brain break so that that student will already have a choice in mind I believe Go Noodles try to come up with new exercise and dance routines every month or if there's a new season, they put something new um, on the categories. So there are a lot to choose from and workout, of course, is uh, the easiest way to regain students' energy. Yo, yo! Show us how you say hello! We move like this and go with the boat and then we say hi hi! Number three is guess that gibberish so what are gibberish so gibberish is a word game full of rubbish words where you have to figure out the actual words out of it so the goal is for students to be able to crack the actual word now in youtube there are a lot of videos about gibberish words so you can also do that just make sure to type gibberish for kids because they are gibberish videos that are really not appropriate for children or you can make your own slide presentation of gibberish words so for example she is burger she is burger what is it okay cheese burger okay next one high squeak own high squeak own did you get that it's ice cream cone Next one, pink hot butter in chili. Okay, so it's peanut butter and jelly. Okay, students do not know this one, but the best way to decode a phrase is to read it again and again loud and clear in your mind. And then you'll finally be able to hear what the word or what the phrase is. 
So I'm going to put the link of this gibberish words link in the description. You can check that out later. Okay, number four is would you rather? So in would you rather work out, the teacher asks a question and the students mime their answer. I'm going to put also a lot of YouTube links for would you rather work out. So for example, would you rather go to the top of the mountain or under the sea? So if they choose top of the mountain, in your presentation, you can let them jog in place. If they choose the otherwise, they can do a squat. So it depends on whatever workout you want them to do. Okay, number five is guessing game. Okay, it would be more exciting if you choose some categories that interest your set of kids. So for example, my kids last year, they like cars, they love restaurants. So what we did was guess the food or guess the logo. So here's an example of guess the logo. So for guess the food, you can enumerate the ingredients of a certain food one at a time until somebody is able to guess what the food is about. So for example, first ingredient is ground meat. Next is red sauce. Next is tomato garlic okay i'm pretty sure by the third ingredient somebody else will be able to guess so that's spaghetti okay okay and the last one is online bingo so there is a game generator for online bingo i'm gonna put also the link in the description be sure to check that out later although online bingo is a bit long to play but this is the time where you can integrate review and vocabulary words activity so that you can still incorporate instructional time during your brain break it's a bit you know corny for students but some of them will have fun in marking out their virtual cards so for this bingo card generator you can customize your own cards generate the link and you share it to your students so that they can choose their preferred card. You can now call out the numbers or words or whatever you have put in your bingo. So to make it more exciting, you can ask your students to cross out X, all X boxes on their bingo card. You can also do letter L or you can do the traditional four corners or the horizontal or diagonal. So whatever is exciting for your students or then go for it because in the first place icebreaker is to break the monotony or to engage your students back to the class whether it be a mind game or a physical activity so i hope you did learn something new from this video okay if you do have one you can also share it in the comment section so that we can all learn from each other Thank you teachers. Have a great day. Bye. Don't forget to like.